This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. To create a new virtual machine, we could right-click on our Hyper-V host, go to New, Virtual Machine, go through the wizard. We've already seen that with our Virtualization Basics training. So let's take a look at how to do it with PowerShell. I'm on a Windows 10 machine. We're going to do this remotely against a Windows Server 2016 uh, host. And actually, let's go ahead and just run our PowerShell prompt as administrator. And instead of adding the minus computer name to all of my commands, I'm going to go ahead and just enter PS session into Hyper-V02. So I can just run commands. So to create a new virtual machine, we're going to use the new dash VM command. Let's specify what we want the name of the virtual machine to be. I'm going to call it server01. You can see currently there's no server01. Specify the virtual machine generation. I'm going to make it to the memory startup. 4 gigs, new VHD path. I'm going to create a new virtual hard disk, server01.vhdx. It's going to be created in the default location. Specify the new VHD size and bytes. And this number is going to be 80 gigs. So I'll go ahead and hit enter to create that virtual machine. Okay, it's created. And there it is. If we want to take a look at it, we can. We can right click on it, go to settings. And we can see there's currently no uh, ISO image or DVD drive on this. So we need to add one. Of course, we could use the, the graphical user interface to add it. But let's use PowerShell real quick, just if we wanted to use the graphical user interface. We just go to Settings, highlight the SCSI controller, select DVD drive, and click Add. So in PowerShell, we're going to use the Add-VMDVD drive and specify the virtual machine name that we want to add it to. Server 01. And pretty easy. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. There it is. We can see it added the DVD drive. Now, it didn't mount anything yet, no ISO image. We could have added the Path minus Path option and mounted an ISO image at the same time we created it. But let's use the get-vm DVD drive, specify the virtual machine name, server01. And so we can see we've got a DVD drive at uh, SCSI controller number 0, controller location 1. So now on Hyper-V02, if I just browse to it, you can see I'm going to browse to the E drive of it. Let's go ahead and go up a directory. I've got an ISO folder on there. And I've got all my ISO images. We're going to install Windows Server 2016. So I actually want to mount this ISO image. So to do that with PowerShell, I'm going to use the command set-vmdvd drive. And here we're going to specify the path. Again, we could have added that to our add-vmdvd drive, and it would have mounted it at the same time it would created it. So there's the path to the ISO image. We're specifying the controller number, 0, controller location, 1, and, of course, the virtual machine name is server01. Let's go ahead and hit Enter. And it's mounted. We can go ahead and take a look at it. And there it is. We can see we mounted it. Of course, we could have just browsed to it in the GUI if we wanted to and mounted it that way as well. And now I can go ahead and right-click on this server, click on Connect, and start it up from here if I wanted to. In order to start it, we could also use PowerShell. We can use the start-vm minus name, server01. So we'll go ahead and start that virtual machine. And we can see it's starting up. And there it goes. We want to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. And we can go ahead and install our guest operating system.